Hello, everybody. Hana Day. Yeah. It's pre celebration weekend, though. Celebration won't start now. It's pre celebration weekend. Uh, yeah. And also, I never get a chance really set up where I would do live. I never set up my live space for this new place. I'm not really used to this new house. I used to set up a place for my live here. You know, hang up my chip poster, and my chip flag, you know. Hang up on MOP flag, join. Get me? Listen. I need to set up. I need to really set up my stuff. You know, well, we start in celebration. You know. Again, it's another time of the year. You know, so everybody, please come out from tonight. Moist Beach. I they play with Odumodu Black, Vector, Made, my nephew. I think World is our special guest this night. Who else is coming? We have DJ OB. <laughs> DJ OB. <laughs> SK at OB. Niggas in Paris. <laughs> ah, last weekend. By this time, me and DJ OB, they do niggas in Paris. Jojo. <laughs> And from Monday, and Monday is a very important day for celebration because it is one of my own favorite part of celebration, the fella debates for Necker Hall for everything be there. It's gonna be the fella debates, you know. This year, uh, I think who is coming to speak that even uh Obi Asika is coming to speak this year. You know, so yeah, man. To be interesting and really informative and I would like people to come to that as well. The show starts from Tuesday at all the venues you know so yeah man good day you know interesting when people show up before i go into the topic of today because you know i do interview with my friend benga borrower you know and i give one analysis there you know and i ain't bring this live you know so i would like more we'll talk uh, yeah so we'll, i'll jump but before i go on on to that a few things I need to touch on, you know, few things I need to touch on on, on this mobile issue, really. And uh, I had start with my life before, so I need to finish that thing where they talk, you know, because it's still going on, you know. Now, the theory they talk, they say they parade Sheonkuti, they parade Sheonkuti, why they no parade Nairamali? Yeah, 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 yeah. They no parade Samlari, they are parade Sheon... First of all, First of all, now for that one, that one they use me do yard stick, eh? As a criminal man. Abi? <laughs> the parade you could even... First of all, you know, this is what I'm saying about the way we do things. Like, so we need to, we need to change. We need, if we want to make our country better, you know, we need to understand the moves that we need to make. You know, parading of people is illegal really when you parade the suspect it goes again is a is a, an abuse of the person human rights you limit the person chance at real justice when you parade somebody that is just a suspect you know that is still alleged that is innocent you are innocent until proven guilty in the court of law and until you are proven guilty in the court of law you cannot be treated publicly you know like you are guilty already you know it tarnishes your image and it biases people's concept uh people's uh uh perception of you as as an innocent person so even though they do unto me i'm happy it is not done to naramali and i'll be happy that it's not done to anybody in nigeria that is called a suspect you know to be paraded and your humanity and your human rights snatched away from you by oppressors you know this is not what we need to say we are looking for you know so me go as i did like this i i'm surprised you know and people they use me when i don't use me as i don't tell them now for my last life so when i don't use me as example for this police matter leave me and the police see we are me and police of nigeria we are the best friends. now don't tell me now if they change mouth every three months now if they change mouth every three months 
one month. Oh, Nigeria police is the best. Or that month. Hey, police is the worst. It can't happen. I've agreed. I mean, I know they move like that. You know, I don't like hypocrisy. We don't all, they don't use me. They don't sacrifice me for the altar of Nigerian police and Nigerian people reconciliation. I have been the sacrificial lamb. So how can me win and use a sacrificial lamb? Now join people to act as if that act of sacrifice is nothing. No, it's something though. It's something. I am holding on to that reconciliation. We are reconciled. We are on the same side. You know, we are on the same side. So nobody should use me as an example. And then also to not be calling for me they take Naramali, they parade them. You know, we can't be asking for injustice in the name of justice. We must not ask for injustice in the name of justice. We cannot ask ask for injustice in the name of justice. You know, we must stay on the line where we say we want day. The things we say we want to see. Those things we say we want to develop for our country. You know. Now those things we must really relate with. So to be calling for somebody to be human rights to be violated, to satisfy your own need for for punishment, to see your own punitive need against that person, your own emotional need against that person, to do to save the picture for your phone, to use them as DP or whatever it is where they make they appear online. You know, when you people do these things, you know, the things where they make happy, you know. I don't know, but we, sh we should not be happy when we see injustice. And we should not be the ones calling for injustice and human rights abuse because it can be you tomorrow. It can be you tomorrow. One thing we are not make, we are not announce because, but it is important to speak at talk for here. It can be you tomorrow. As I come up for a party say, eh, for that party say, that is the first thing where I do as I come, as I reach out. But that is the first thing where I do as I reach out, as I come up for say, I give my people money when they go renovate that cell. When they change the toilet, change the shower, paint the wall, do the ground work, I pay for my pocket. If I say the light, when I go party, go very far. I repair that cell where I stay. I renovate a new shower, new toilet, everything. I tile, I put tile, I do everything. Why? Because I realize I can even be back there tomorrow. You know, that at least Naira can enjoy my, my charity. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm fighting. I'm using this thing to make joke. You remember we say Oroburuku to tell you. <laughs> you know, any of us can end up there tomorrow. It can be any of us tomorrow that this system can bundle up for any reason. Now, let's say people will do SARS protests. Many of them sit there for jail all over this country. We have abandoned them. We don't forget all about them. There's no protest to free the NSAS protesters. You know, they are all being forgotten by the people we call the outside for protest. Everybody, they are all over the jails in this country. But all of us, we, you know, but one day it can be you, so be careful. Be careful. You know, be careful what you wish for. You know, be careful because when you give oppressors, when, when we give oppressors this kind of power, they're not going to use them for only one person. That's why you must never concede to oppress or any power. You must never concede any ground. Because anything you concede to them is the weapon that will be formed against you in future. So be careful, you know. I need to be careful. That's why as now everybody suddenly hate bullying for Nigeria. Everybody suddenly hate bullying. Bullying is suddenly not a problem. When just over uh, 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 January here, bullying was the was the norm the girl of the political system and the internet space in this country. Me, ma, uh, because I say Peter Obi is an opportunist. People insulted my father, insulted my mother, insulted my generation online, called for me to be killed, called for me to be arrested, said they will poison my daughter. There's nothing I wasn't told because I say uh, somebody who won't be president is an opportunist. They said they go burn shrine. My brother talked one thing too against Peter. They said they go burn shrine. These same people where they follow, go and look. Oh, these same people where now they're ending for obedience too. Who they know insult and bully? They said they go burn shrine. They said they go burn shrine. They said they go burn shrine. Peter Obiga's burn shrine. Come meet my brother. 
to apologize. Not be to tell the supporters to stop that behavior. Bully everybody in the internet. Cyber bullying all over the place. So not only physical bullying, I don't like. Cyber bullying is okay. Where they lead to suicide. Where they lead no person brain self turn. Same impact where it happen to mobile. Then they happen to anybody with a bully online. Depression. Suicidal thoughts. So I don't understand. You can't share your mind. You talk your mind like this. Everybody's against you. Talking this, talking that. Swearing for your mother. Swearing for your father. If all of them get the kind of money where Naira Mali self gets, then I go do the same thing now. Now, because I don't get money, so now only na keep, na feel only employ keypad. You can only employ data. <laughs> you can only employ data and keypad. You don't get boys. You don't get money for boys. Does not you get money for boys? Ah 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 ah. Why they do like this? Why they do like this? My eldest sister called me, and as, <laughs> when we will lower me, <laughs> they are too heavy. Even though, even though ten president call me, my senior sister call me, and that's answer. She, she's like that. She's like that. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. You know. So, maybe we look on. Which I even really talk about just now. Oh my goodness. Yes, cyber bullying. Yes. So I don't come act like say all this uh, bullying thing. You people are really against it, you know, because ah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Sometimes I the fear, I the fear. The things I see us do, and then suddenly come and complain about when we are not the ones doing it. It's when you are not the ones doing it, you know. We get money like Naira, which is in our eyes see for this political space. Hmm. Which is our eyes see. <laughs> okay. Now to the third uh, topic before I jump into my analysis to end this live. <laughs> <coughs> mm. You know, before I jump into the final analysis to end this live, you know, um, yeah. I go do modeling last last weekend, last Sunday, as usual, you know, as usual. But the team say I, I never really go through the comments. The comments they load for the pic for the video where I post, you know. But they see the highlight, but I never get time. I'm still going to weed out. May I tell you now? I'm still going to take my time. I'll go read all those comments and block as I've promised anybody. We measure say because I do anything for Oyibo. Say anybody will measure that thing. I don't promise not blocking. Because you are you are a bastard child of your ancestor. Hmm? Does that mean I have to be a bastard child of my ancestors too? Eh? Say hypocrite. You can say my person not talk Oyibo. I've never. And first of all, your lack of comprehension. You know, it's not really my problem. It's not my problem. You know, they say you be, you be Pan Africanist. Why are you working in Europe for Europeans? Yeah, they say you're colonizer. You are working with the. First of all, I would like to blame you, but I can't really blame you, you know? Because Nigerian educational system, is, it fail all of us. It fail all of us. There was a time I'd be, I, be like you, but, you know. I give glory to the ancestors. See, I don't re-educate myself. You know? I don't re-educate myself where. You feel me? Uh -huh. So, but I don't use that one now. I can't take the like, do like, say, I better pass you. You know, it's not really your fault. But the way they embrace the stupidity, that one is your fault. Uh -huh. The fact that you're ignorant and stupid is not really your fault. We are all there once. Me too, I was there too. But your embrace of this, your situation. <laughs> <laughs> that one is your fault. Now, now what is your fault? You know, now what is your fault? It's really your fault because first of all, I say I be Pan Africanist. Pan, na Latin word, you know, Latin word, you know, Pan Africanist. It means Afri Pan is first. It just means first. So Pan African means African first. 
Africa first. It doesn't mean Africa only. To be a Pan-Africanist means I put Africa first. Africa is first, but not Africa only. Because I'm still a child of this world. Anybody that anybody will embrace any ideology will limit you from experiencing the world. You are embracing the wrong ideology. Any ideology will limit you from experiencing the whole of the experiences that this world has to offer. At least that you see, that you believe, say they positive for you. You know, because this world, you know, what is one man's meat is another man's poison. Right? But at the same time, now how we wash hands, now you make hands clean. So everybody must find what's in their life for this world, you know, really. And hopefully, the greatest, one of the most important, uh, one, of, one of the most uh, important, the word in a prayer, one of the most important, because Nigerians will understand that more as prayer, but me, I believe in resolve. You know, one of my greatest resolve and hopes in my heart, we say, the things where I like may not be the things we won't destroy me. Many human beings fall into the things where they like, where they destroy them. And when you like something and that thing can turn out to be toxic to you or dangerous for you, it's really a shame because that thing will end up controlling you. You know, if you stop him and it will end up killing you, destroying you, whatever. You know, if you fulfill your potential because you loved or you are in love or you like the wrong thing or even the wrong person. Most and more and more these days, for this our own era and our people, people are getting worse than it. people are more people are worse than anything. People are becoming worse than crack. <laughs> people are busy that crack cocaine be the worst thing where human beings feel experience for this world. But the more they grow and they say, oh more now, human beings be the worst experience. Human beings are ah. You know, so yeah. Our greatest hopes should be that the things that we, you know, like shouldn't be things that are toxic to us. You know, but me, I don't embrace any ideology and I never tell anybody before. Say, don't go to Europe. Don't walk in Europe. Don't. My point is very simple. Don't sabotage your people in pursuit of what anybody else has to offer. I feel they will make all these people vex when they see me for these kind of stages or doing these kind of things. They say, you know, then believe say Pan African is not supposed to be successful in life. You know, say we suppose say you know, person when they talk through suppose die in poverty because they now one of the excuses where they give themselves for not speaking the truth be that. Say if they talk through you go suffer or if they talk through you go die. no if they so if they talk through you not be able to get money pass yes. But you know, truth cannot give the reward for truth cannot be suffering. Just the way the people where they lie, say if they die, they be sick. Things they have for them as they lie. Now the way some people where they talk true, they, they die, they be sick. Yes, it's, a, it's balance. Don't be afraid to embrace what you know to be true to you in your heart and spread it to the world. Yes, the powerful people for this world don't like to hear the truth about themselves. So they're not gonna give you all the things where they get to where you feel where you deserve. But you will get enough. In your life, if you work hard too, because not be saying you're going to talk through, sit down for your hours, they wait for largesse. You must work hard, develop yourself, get skill with the world need. You know? Because that is really the truth. So when they see me, they expect not only the people where they like, where they mortgage themselves. That's why they go talk, say, she won't say, make, uh, she won't say, insult Davido and Bonaboy, say, they wear diamond chain. Like saying only Nigerian artists they wear diamond chain. I say the fact say African artists and African artists, every black person in this world is an African. Jay Z is an African. You know what I stand? Chris, Chris Brown is an African. Any forget any country where they did for this world where slavery spread us to. We are still from the first and foremost Africans. But we don't get Pan Africanism. The, many of us are not Pan-Africanists, so being African doesn't unite us. The way Europeans are Pan-European, that just being European unites them. As much as they hate themselves, as much as they are divided, they are united by the identity of their race. 
is enough for them to be united. See, no matter how we hate ourselves, when it comes to national or race, racial interest, you know, suddenly we come together. We understand what is good and what is bad. We might not like ourselves, <laughs> you know. You know, they tell people, you know, go to a, people to you, European United, European Union, you, the Europeans are united. They said we've never been to Europe. The Germans hate the Italians, the Italians hate the French, the French hate the English, the English hate the French right back. The, everybody hates the Germans, the Germans hate everybody right back. <laughs> Let me tell you if, you, if you live among them, you see these things. You know, but then they call them tribalism. Then they call them tribalism, the way that they call them tribalism. You know? But our Africanness will be made to believe that it's not important enough to unite us. And that's the problem. That's the problem in Nigeria. We would say, Igbo man, Hausa man, Yoruba man. Yeah, we hear all that one. But still, we are all Africans. We are all the same people living in one area and we want to develop that area. The need to develop that area for our own benefit is not enough to unite us. The need for us to develop Nigeria for our own benefit. Not because we are developing it for outsiders to come and use it. For our own benefit. But because we've been, our Africanness is so reduced in our mind. That things that benefit black people is not important to us. That's why black people can be dying. One million die, no matter, we don't send anything. Everybody is doing their We feel here for news, say one million people die in Congo. Nobody from Nigeria have been Congolese. <laughs> uh, so I say the fact that we African people they watch the way Congolese people they die, Sierra Leonean people they die. Liberian people they die for the illegal mining of this because most of the diamonds is blood diamonds. People are being killed for these diamonds to be taken out of Africa. And now we as African celebrities wanted to use make sure say we get money, the blood of our people on our necks. Faust is one of my very good friends, and our Faust be the only like big rapper where I know with the weird chain. The first time we and after we become like we will fast to the top. The first time we are going, house we will sit down, share drink, you know, re relaxing. As boys do, that was one of the first things I told him to his face. He can, he can verify this fact. See, you don't need to. People love you because you are fouls. This chain on your neck doesn't add any importance. We already know you have money. Anybody that thinks you don't have money is a stupid person. And if they think you don't have money, it's even benefit to you. You know, why do we need these things to show status symbol? Then he explained that to me too from the hip hop marketing brand and to each his own. I did not cut it from his neck. Say, give me, but that's okay, it's because you do not agree with me. Eh, oh, yeah, me and you cannot be friends again. Mm -mm. Eh? So, what are you even talking about here? They'll go, they'll go spread down all over the place, just trying to listen. Africans must be, until you people decide to be Pan Africanists, you have no choice. You must become pan Africanist to escape the suffering that you are suffering. You have no choice. That is where your salvation lies. And that's why everybody is paid to make you look away from that ideology. The only one ideology that can save you. So instead of you to listen to what they tell you, make you understand what they talk, they will find stupid points. She will go, they play show for you. Are you crazy? Pan Africanism is not racism. You know? But because you know they support those who refuse to be Pan Africanists, now happy to support them to lift them up. You know, especially those who are not support because of Pan Africanism, suppose die in hunger. But the ancestors of Africa refuse to bring your wish to fruition. And upon the verse, they turn out to insult. That's why ancestors will damage anybody they talk about those things. In our life, can never, your life can never be better. Your life can never, your life can never better. This one beside the cost you. Mm -hmm. It's not me. It's the ancestors. Because it's, it's just getting like ridiculous in this country these days. You know, if I cough, they will just say I sneeze. If I sneeze, they will just say I cry. If I cry, they will just say I shit. If I shit, they will say I piss. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> What's <laughs> Uh, <laughs> these people man these people so now 
I give analysis for my friend, you know, Benga Borowa. My own boy, he get one show when they do for a new TV. I come with the discuss politics, you know. Now they, I can't post the video where they talk about it. But the context where they discuss the matter, the context where they discuss the matter, they say, The fact say selling people they use wealth as status symbol for Africa. Say now nah, misdirection to African people and young African people, you know, so that they, know, so that they look up to the wrong things as if they really have money. Because Africa doesn't have any money. Because Africa is broke. This is a poor continent. And one of the things that we we, the, we will not really understand is how poor we are as, as Africans. You know, because they make us look up to these fake ass people flaunting their wealth all over the place. You know, so we think there's some money somewhere here. So I was proving to them that there's no money in Africa. See, even our national budget cannot compare to the pet, pet food industry of America. Then they come under my list. Yeah, what a stupid analysis. Hey, I can't be comparing what taxpayer is funding with what pet industry is making. First of all, who are the taxpayers of America? The same ta people paying tax in America are the same people that own the pets in America. The same people, I repeat, it is the same people that fund the American government, which are the American citizens, that are the owners of American pets. Do you consider that? Is that, is that fact? Yes or no? Because it'd be like for Nigeria, where they would tell you now, you know, they understand the dual that you are you are not one thing as a member of your society you are a taxpayer you are a consumer you are a worker you are not one thing and you must see yourself and how that society relates to all those different aspects of you and whether that's those things favor you and the more we if you make favor you the more your country will be better for many for all of now like for nigeria they would lie to you say uh, like when sky bank chop everybody money take do politics everything collapse they share everybody money ready for the bank government rush come outside to help their friends so we are protecting the depositor. The first give Sky Bank 200 billion naira. That time dollar was still 300 to one. They give them 200 billion. Boom! That's almost one billion dollar. <laughs> almost one billion. Just boa. The government say they are protecting the depositor money with the taxpayers' money. And as they do it for TV, they talk, they do all their experts come, all those people they call the usual people they deceive now. Everybody they come, they talk the matter. No single person asks, say, please excuse me. Depositor and taxpayer, are they different people? Who is the depositor and who is the taxpayer? Are they not? so you be you take money from the depositor to return? To the depositor after the money the depositor put in the bag was totally by somebody else <laughs> who is the depositor and who is the taxpayer you are telling me that you now use taxpayer money take re repay depositor in money where somebody else take nobody went to jail nobody's assets were seized Everything running smoothly. Their children still schooling all over the world, collecting thousands of dollars in allowance, stunting on you. You know, now they think all those kind of thoughts. You know, once they don't give me all this, they are stupid explanation. And because you too, you be you have embraced stupidity as I talked before. You know, you never study too, so you, you won't act smart. You know that's how they talk. Oh. <laughs> you know that's how they talk. You know, please excuse me. Can you explain? I don't understand. I think I'm confused. You know, he said, well, ah, because the professor they talk about the audience, they are experts. He said, well, act like saying, yeah, yes, yes, that is uh, very intelligent, very. <laughs> Niger, they carry last. Niger, they carry last. I swear down. <coughs> Niger, they carry last, too. <laughs> so now, at the explain, say, there's a certain system where they control this world, right? Nigerian budget, you know, was 40 billion in 2020. And at that time, the pet food industry of America hmm, was just the pet food industry 
I know I had pet care, as in so pet grooming, pet insurance, pet health care, all those things are still industries, you know, but just the food, just the feeding of the pets of America. The industry is $67 billion a year, just America alone, United States. I never had UK, I know. So I say in the global order of things, we have decided that the feeding of America, they say, hey, what a stupid thing. How can you compare privately funded tea? The, the tax, the constitution, everything that is publicly uh, run as in the institutions. Now the same human beings, we create them. Nine create the pet food industry. We decide. You understand? So the Americans, it is due to the uh, ability their financial ability by the system that they live under to afford to feed their pets like that. That system that they live under, hmm? now system where we say if they colonize our own country, they extract minerals, everything, violence, whatever you can think of, is exported to our country to get this wealth. And we get certain leaders for this country. We allow those multinational corporations to come into our country to extract this wealth to our own detriment, to the extent, say, we now they so poor. Their own citizens have the ability to feed their pets more than we can take ourselves to school, take ourselves to hospital, build good roads. They have more. And our leaders continue to allow this extraction, this whatever relationship they call it to continue to exist. So my question be say, why do people, why would I hate anybody? Why do you even act, even though they lie? If my lie is uplifting African people, why must you feel it's your job to come and call it out? My lie, I know they lie say African people do it. I they lie great, say Africa great. See, Africa need to be great. My lie is to bring Africans to wake them up. Let's even agree. Why do you feel it's your job to come and protect the colonizer? And when people come for my... Uh, when people come for my page, come... Uh, are you rich? That's 67 million. No, 67 billion. Billion, billion. Billion with a B. 67 billion dollar industry as of 2020 i'm sure now it has gone up inflation and everything has happened now it must not go up but when i did the research in 2020 i'm waiting waiting even encourage that my research now because she went to write about her for a book the west and the rest of us that time the pet food industry was two billion dollar So my question is, why do you feel it's your own job to come and fight for the colonizer? By point, because by pointing out, say, I be hypocrite, say, I did go work for colonizer, whatever. No matter how wrong your summation or your perception is, it is to weaken my own position. To make people say, oh, don't follow Pan-Africanists. Don't believe what this man is saying. Follow your own way, way they follow before. Everybody is the same. And that way we would follow before they destroy us that everybody is the same mentality they destroy us somebody they try to show a different way you feel it's your job to strengthen the old way why let's compare american pets european pets human animal rights so the human rights okay now so let's forget the food industry where they talk say we they use 67 billion they use 67 billion feed their pets we they use 40 billion for our tax hey, hey no tally this one are public that one are private baby or as if both uh, uh both institutions are not under the same system let's agree okay how about european animal rights compared to african people's rights 
even in America. Now, in Europe and America, you can release song about killing black people all day. They will play it on all the radio in Europe and America. Can you release a song about killing a cat in Europe and America? Can you, if they burn, can they, they burn your access to all your generation where? To enter studio for Europe and America. Rap say, I took a dog out, I shot the dog in the face, I smacked my cat, I hung him just because he looked at me, that fucking bitch. Wrap that and put it on the radio. Which radio station in the whole of Europe and America will play that record? Who? Not only will they not play that record, they will make sure they lock you up. Either in prison or in a mental asylum. You are going somewhere. You are going somewhere. <laughs> You are going somewhere. But you can sing about killing black people all day. You can sing about slapping black women, beating black women, whatever. You know, what, what, anything you like, you can say that you have done to black people. They will play it on the radio all day. In fact, it will become a number one hit song. People will create dance. They will create a dance. To the killing of black people, <laughs> not <laughs> they will create dance to the insult and disgrace of black women. Jacob Zuma of Western Football Club, you know, because you people, you know, you people, there's, there's, there's something going on in your brain because all the, the only problem in Africa is that we know that if we stand our ground. Hmm, and demand what is ours. Europeans might ban us from Europe. Americans might not let us come to America too much anymore. Or even though we go, it will not be like before. So we know we might not be wearing Gucci. We might not be wearing Louis. Louis, you are poor more. Benz, man, the Jews, woke in here. I that is shit you are. It is the exclusion from this lifestyle. It is the exclusion from champagne. That is what is stopping most people from doing the right thing. We know the right thing. But we know that the right thing might create exclusion from champagne. Exclusion <laughs> from both trips. Yay! Moko. You don't want to be like uh, Shion Kuti that will just be enjoying small, small. You know where you see, you take. You won't just make it just they fall like waterfall. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Anyway, Kozuma, because <laughs> he thought his cats were his black friends. I should say Kozuma could not slap many of his black friends in front of news. They go any time come out say, oh, don't worry, it's just African people how they behave. You know, he can't go do that to a cat. If he, you know, that's how you know he's used to such violent acts. They feel that they post that yeah, he has done it to human black people so much. I'm sure. He's low. Oh, oh boy, just come. It's just this animal. You people remember what happened to kids, Kozuma? You remember? You remember? Because all these people you put, see, you must be wake up to your responsibility and for, stop looking at you. Because if you don't like me, still look, stop looking at me then. But wake up to your responsibility. Forget me. But you must wake up to responsibility. If nothing say all these people that they look up to get any sense, people when they make hundred million dollars already before they are 30, 50 million dollars before they are 30, we don't send their community, but they'll come online when they talk about one kind of thing, uh, actors, rappers from all over the world. We don't gather the Jay Z's, all these people don't gather all the money where African people supposed to get, all the athletes, where they go there for Europe, they need down. Say end racism, they raise up their hand, end racism, they'll come Africa. They sit down with the oppressors of black people for Africa. But when they go to their club, they go to that. They go do like this. End racism. But for their country, they are silent about oppression. Silent about any other bad thing they happen. You people look up to these clowns. I did inside taxi for France. One taxi driver tell me, say, Eh, now Cameroon man. He say, Samedo, eh, I say Samedo. <coughs> <coughs> He says, Samuel Eto, then become the uh, uh, chairman of CAF 
uh, of uh, Cameroon football. He has become the chairman of Cameroon Football Federation. See, make at the watch. The way Cameroon football will go up. This Cameroonian man is not even following news in his country. I say, are you sure, say, are you, sure you are from Cameroon? He say, yes. He say, I say, are you sure you are following what is going on in your country right now under this? Your... Sam Eto has been there match fixing. They've caught him on phone match fixing in Frank Gay Club with the third division. He has said, mate, it won't make the club quick come first division. They don't deprive the referee. If you talk, they go she you. They de... Sam Eto. A whole summer at all that has gone all over the world to see how football is run. And what does that tell you about how football is run all over the world? If summer at all is in Africa doing those kind of things, but they will bring summer at all out like that to make you think, say, it's part of being because he's African. They're not going to let you know saying that because he's a European. In his worldview, in his mindset, summer at all is a European. Now they don't train them. The way they train all these leaders, that's the way they train all these your so-called people that they give all these things. They already they think like your oppressor already. So when they come to Africa, it's the same things that those people do. That they just... But Africa lacks the finesse. We lack the finesse of all those places. We lack the camaraderie, the industrialization of those places. When they distract, when they make all those kind of crime look like small crime, eh? It's sporting crime, they will just give them a slap on the wrist. But when you do those things in Africa, it tears the fabric of our own society. Because it's more than in the, we don't even get industries. Those things are the way many young African people can ever uplift themselves. Because the countries are not industrialized. Where is the job in the tech? Where are the where the uh, talented tech guys in Africa they go? Not be Europe and America. If you are a physicist in Africa, where is the program? The talented chemists we have, talented historians, philosophers. Where is the job for them? They are left destitute. The ones who are not lucky to leave this country. You are a talented robotics engineer. I hear Tieti Baje, rocket scientist in Nigeria. She I hear Oti Bajeni. You are a talented rocket scientist in Nigeria. But at least he could say we don't say Ivan Tony said they do one for Brentford. They don't catch Barcelona. Say Barcelona said they bribe referee. You know? You understand? So you can see Eto said play for Barcelona. Eto now for Barcelona if you become big star. He can't go in country now. He said they bribe referee. It's a good thing, say ancestors make us say Barcelona self has been exposed as so we're in Lena. Is an African still sham that behavior? Is he behaving like Africans? These people don't keep, they don't, they are not in tune with you. They've heard that they are too special already. They, they believe that they are more special than you already. Because that, to my film, more, more. See, trust me. Thick skin, low fat. Thick skin, low fat. One of the things I don't make public in the world is that in France, I've been knighted four years ago by the French government. Four years ago, yeah. About four years ago now. By the French government. I'm already in that. If I, they are expecting me to be a French citizen. By now, in my life. If many people in Africa have the, have the opportunity and the opening I have with the French government, they will have become French. They will have abandoned Africa a long time. They will not collect their French passports. I repeat, many of these people you look up to, anybody with children get international passports. Can't come to Africa and be telling us that they care about us in Africa. If you did, you would bring your children to experience it with us. That's how I know you are committed. My father could have been anywhere in the world. We said for grow up as Americans. With our blue passport gang or red passport gang but those ones believe in this country they put us here you know but they, they follow people say they don't put their children give them american passport french passport this passport they come come back to tell you they love you they want the they, not lie they've learned from their masters how to take from you what's up baby girl hello yeah, at this time
Their children only come to Africa for summer or for 30 December. 30 December they are here. Summer when they give them government job. So they've all learned how to extract, to use this colonial construction for what it was made for, to extract and exploit Africans. Finish. And they operate it now. It'd be like oil industry, you know, upstream day, downstream day, the hair. For upstream sector of the Nigerian oil, the, now Europeans and Americans, now foreign people, they run all those ones, all those exporting, they drill the oil, all those, now Europeans get all those ones, the Ajibs, the, the Texacos, the uh, Mobiles, the Shells, and they run that game downstream, Katakum Philly Station, Katadizu, they leave down for their boys, and then they chop from the game. That's why it said, high, high, they really chop the international money, they leave this one, they run the local game. Money said they did. And they are willing to run it to the detriment of all of us. All their children are not Africans. How can you say that those are African people? People that are in charge of Africa with their children will be Africans. How dare they come and tell you that they are African people? Their children are not Africans, their grandchildren are not Africans. Somebody went inside the school for Europe. They tell you, say, you want to repair education for Africa. And they listen. That's what George Weir, the president of Liberia, and begin to play for America. And they talk, say, which kind of nonsense be this? These same people come, say, who am I? Who am I? If I'm in car, if I'm in car, I'm not going to let me play for America. Am I a president? Am I the one in charge of developing the country? If me were in charge of developing the country, and sports being a part of developing the country, no believe say my son supposed to play for my country. Whose person's son supposed to play then? Whose person's son supposed to put his own future for that team? Where my own, I don't really carry my own son go play for America. That means I don't say I'm not planning for my own team to ever be like American team. I will have no plans for that. If that is the evidence that I have no plans for that. If my Peking, no fit go to school, where I say I want this school is going to, I'm going to bring Nigeria education to the best in the world. And my own children no day there to experience that. That means I'm lying. Oh, how I'm lying. I'm lying. But you point that out. Say somebody will be the highest importer of goods. All in supermarket is full of imported goods. He never think of and is a billionaire. Peter is a billionaire. His supermarket is full of imported goods. He never creates manufacturing sector to manufacture the goods where in God they say. Court you say he won't industrialize Nigeria. You know, Baba, I beg, cool down. <laughs> cool down. No. Those kind of things don't... Those... Now the contradictions of this country will destroy us. It is the contradictions of this country that will destroy this country. And we the people, who will support such contradictions? Even among ourselves. We bully everybody. Same the cha the chairmen and women of the bullying gang of Lagos of, of Nigeria in January, just January year before we do a uh, election, just January the chairmen and women of the bullying society of Nigeria. These people actually, I say they say they go burn shrine. They say they go burn shrine down. Now, now they are not the ones championing anti-bully. They are the ones not saying bullying is bad. The same people, the same people running all over the place, shouting bullying, bullying, bullying. And nobody in Nigeria say, hey, hey, shut up. Just all of you just first shut up first. Shut up. Let's face what is really on ground. Let's look at what has really happened. But you guys said, hey, you people first shut up. Mm. No. You line up, you go to what? Is this, am I in the twilight zone? These same people, they don't come outside to say, okay, you know what? Ah, I've seen the role that I might have played though, in this kind of situation. Ah, I don't think say, the thing would be like this, but now I see say, this bullying bad. Let me apologize to all the people that I bullied. Let me apologize. Let me, let me atone for my own bullying. Let me look. Let me look at all these people that I bullied, that made me feel bad, that I made depressed, 
that insulted their father, their mother, that I tried to burn down their club. <laughs> Let me personalize it more. None of them have looked back to apologize. Say, my own contribution to the bullying in this country, I apologize. It's a shame. But at the same time, as I always say, our country is like human being too. As these, peop these people will embrace stupidity day, we that embrace light, that embrace knowledge, embrace advancement, embrace nature, embrace humanity, we save day. But the mistake we are making is that we are not battling as hard as these as this, as this evil ones. We are the ones now enabling the evil ones, dancing their dance with them because we are too, much, too cowardly to stand up to them. They'll be doing their nonsense next to us, we'll be quiet. Because we don't want them to bully us, we'll, we'll, we'll succumb. That's now our problem. You know, kotowing and bowing to these oppressors among us. So we are there, and I know we are the majority. Those of us that truly embrace life and the development of this country. It's just because we give our voices to the evil ones, or we mortgage it. We mortgage it. For the evil ones we must at least match their energy at least if we don't want to surpass their energy at least match it to create a balance in the society anyway thank you very much